so I've been making lots of videos recently, whether I'm going on trips or just filming my day-to-day -day life. And something that I think is super important to help myself through that process is just setting up as many systems as possible to make it as easy as possible for myself to pick up my camera and start recording. So today I wanted to show you guys what that actually looks like for a part-time YouTuber like myself. So I'm gonna get going on my day. So in terms of setting myself up for success and being able to film these videos on the regular, what that really means for me is just having this clean setup where I can pick up the camera and point it in this direction and just know that I'm gonna have a good shot. And this really is just my desk setup, but the absolute show stealer is right here. So my friends over at Zayun sent this to me about a month ago for me to play with, and honestly, ever since I set it up, it has sat right here at the corner of my desk setup, lighting up my area at all times. But this has really made this setup, and I'll show you why. This is the angle that you guys are used to, and the light is kind of right behind you guys in this area right here. I also have this window right here, but since it is behind me, it doesn't actually help to light up my face, so I'll show you what happens when I turn off this main key light. This is what it looks like with the light off. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of light right here on the side of my cheek from this, but the angles just aren't really working out and most of my face is in the shadows. If I was to sit here and try and talk to you guys for half an hour, you guys would probably not really enjoy this image. Just based on the direction of the natural light coming through the window, this would probably be the most likely angle that you guys would see, but now the background looks a little different. It really is just three white walls behind me, which isn't really that engaging as opposed to, you know, the greenery, the shelves, and all of this behind me. It's simplified my entire process because I no longer have to go hunting for natural light, you know, like only recording during golden hour or when the light peeks through, don't have to worry about clouds, and I just know that whenever I sit down here, I'm gonna get this nice looking shot. And of course, don't get it totally twisted, I used to be a complete natural light kind of guy, but there's just things that you can't control with natural lighting, which just makes having a studio light so much better. So this kind of shot with the sun still shining outside just wouldn't be possible without Zion's B100 light. It's incredibly small and something great about it is that it doesn't have an additional power adapter. This cord that plugs it in is literally just a cord. Everything else is built in here so you don't have that chunky power adapter hanging off the side of your light. It also has variable brightness and temperature so you can really tune it into whatever setting you're looking for. If you guys want to check out the product, I'll have a link in the description. I used to think that video lights were for absolute professionals but even just as a solo YouTuber filmmaker, having a light source in your setup just really allows you to record at any time of the day. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, I know that my face is going to be lit up. So another thing that has helped me when making all of these videos has been the fact that over all of my years of making videos, I've never deleted any footage. And the fact that I've never deleted any footage means that at any time, whatever story I'm telling, I can go back, dig up the old footage, and just reuse it. And I have absolutely no shame in reusing footage. If I shot something beautiful, like why would I only want to use it once? So where you guys might have seen that is in any of my videos where I'm maybe telling a story from the past. If when I was living that story in the past, I actually filmed it, it just makes sense to use that footage again, right? So right now, now I'm here in nature. It's super bright out midday. I'm gonna capture some drone footage because when I'm transitioning between scene to scene, you guys have seen, I like to use drone footage. I think it really helps divide up the talking segments. So whenever I'm traveling or switching up my filming location, I always try to grab some drone footage. And something that I try to implement is grabbing drone footage from different times of the day. So like a morning, daytime, and nighttime sunset, those are kind of the three things that I want so that whenever I'm filming during the day, I can just grab the appropriate drone footage, plop it in, and there you go, perfect transition. And of course, like I mentioned, since I don't actually delete any footage, I can always just pull back that drone footage and use it again. Now you're probably thinking, wow, this guy's been filming for like 10 years and he doesn't delete any of his footage. How does he have all that storage? And the truth is that because I've always been a gaming PC, editing PC kind of guy that I build myself, I can always just expand the storage. So unlike a lot of creators who use like a laptop, especially these MacBooks where the storage is super expensive, what I do is every time that I fill up a hard drive, I can just take it out or put a new one into this computer. So today here, I have my temporary solution to that problem. I went to Costco and bought this 14 terabyte 
uh, backup drive right here. This is by far the largest drive that I've ever purchased. And this is just gonna be where I think I archive everything. Honestly, up until last year, storage space has never been an issue. But ever since I switched to this camera and started shooting all my footage in 4K, 10-bit color, file sizes have just increased exponentially. So now I need to figure out like an actual long-term solution. But for now, 14 terabytes of archival storage space is how I'm gonna do it. Keeping all of your footage all the time is definitely a hassle, but it's one of those things where I'd be so sad if I lost those memories, which is really like the whole point of making videos and documenting my life. It's just to have those memories really cemented with my creative twist on it. So yeah, just another simple way that I try and simplify my creative process to make sure that I can really make the best possible videos that I can and really achieve whatever that creative vision is that I have in my head. Okay, so right now I am going to the grocery store because Recently, I've low-key been starving at home, not eating the most nutritious meals of my life, I will say. It's not like I'm a bad chef or anything. I'd actually say I'm a pretty good chef in terms of how I see a lot of other people, including some of my friends cook. But it's one of those things where you really have to put your mind to it because if you let it slip, you're, you're done. If you're in university or just started working and you're finding it hard to make time to cook and you're not meal prepping, you're doing something very, very wrong. I'm in Detroit with Khadija, like 10 minutes from Rio. It's organic, I will speed through midnight moments for a vehicle's 15 minutes of fame or 15 minutes away from finding love in the way for miss you someone to wait for. Is he trying to stay on the right? Or is he trying to, is he trying to leave? Grinding pickleball this fine evening. Uh, right here, travel panel. You're on my team. I think she want me for my loop. I think she want to get some food. So did the body. I need to get goaded out pickleball. All right, we're gonna go meet up with some of my friends. We're gonna go out and play some pool. I'm gonna give you guys a warning. I actually really suck at pool, but something about it is so addicting. It's like gambling. Like the chance that I might pot a ball just makes me want to keep playing. Beach boys on a ride. Huh? I can get there with my eyes closed. Exactly 34 minutes after I pull out your driveway, you dial my phone. Your paper bubble rock. A scripture.